stupid photography terms number 10. Aperture scale. Yes, aperture scale. Hi, Rick here, creator and all things at the small but perfectly formed, it says here, Photography Explained podcast. Okay, aperture scale. What's wrong with aperture scale, Rick? What is your problem with it? Well, let me tell you. F2.8, F4, F5.6, F8, F11, F16. I'll stop there. Wide aperture, small aperture, narrow aperture. I could go on. Not going to. Don't worry. But what do these numbers actually mean? What do these numbers actually stand for? What actually is F4? Now, I've got no idea. I do know that the aperture scale has stops, which are a halving or a doubling of light. But if we got rid of the aperture scale as it is and went with 1 to 10, say, would it make any difference? No, it would not. No, it would not, Rick. No, it would not. A larger aperture value gives more depth of field. A smaller aperture value gives a shallow depth of field. I'll cover depth of field later because I don't like that one either. A smaller aperture gives less depth of field. The maximum aperture gives the smallest depth of field, but also probably has the least quality of images with softening around the edges and other bad stuff. And the minimum aperture gives the most depth of field and potentially other lens errors. The maximum aperture is the smallest number, but the largest opening in the lens. The minimum aperture is the largest number, but the smallest opening in the lens. Clear? All good with that? Oh yeah, and every lens has a sweet spot, which is the sharpest image quality with the least optical errors. And that is never the maximum aperture or the minimum aperture, by the way, I'm happy to say. So the aperture scale is, and I've written this, it's factually and numerically correct, but in reality, it is irrelevant numerical nonsense that needs modernising. No, I don't know how to do this. I'm just saying that it's, it's unhelpful at best, isn't it? It's a bit rubbish, really. Also, you shouldn't bother what the numbers actually mean, but you do need to know how these numbers affect your photos. So what f2.8 actually is doesn't really matter. And that's the point. What the number is is irrelevant. It's how that number, that setting influences the photo that you're taking. That's what matters. So there you go. OK, I'm done. That's enough on the aperture scale up there on my least least liked or most hated <laughs> Uh, photography terms check out my splendid photography explained podcast at all good podcast providers and also the photography explained podcast website wait for it photography explained podcast.com i know how do i come up with this stuff thanks for watching take care stay safe cheers from me rick